I'm drunk, tired, and I kind of like to have sex. Me too. It's an interesting thing to see Craig in, in a relationship, especially with someone like Nikki. He has a very unique way of looking at relationships. Nikki is, is that much younger and I'd probably say corruptible in terms of Craig's lifestyle and Craig definitely has a different idea of what monogamy is as well. Whether Nikki is aware of it the whole time, I'm not sure. Who needs school when I've got you, Professor Cody? We're gonna use Nikki this season as kind of a Lady Macbeth character to wake Craig up a little bit. Nikki, who has expressed that obviously Craig is great looking and she's in it for the drugs and the sex, is starting to wake up a little bit to the realization that he's not the brightest bulb in the tanning bed. Now, I don't, and nor do the writers, view Craig's character as stupid. We actually view him as pretty bright, but a man with limitations. Hey, Craig. Hey. New bartender. Nikki was gonna have to go somewhere off the deep end or something. So I thought, well, why not let's make Nikki like a little Smurfette? Molly and I would have little talks about how Smurf stands. She's probably the only feminine power that she's related to, because she clearly doesn't give a shit about either of her parents. So it's great having a friend who's a woman on the set. Is Craig coming through the window, or are you letting him in the front door? Use the front door from now on. I think that she realizes that if she keeps me around, then Craig will want to spend more time at the house, or she'll know secrets, you know, because poor my character is not very good at, at keeping a secret. I really wasn't supposed to say anything. Please don't tell Darren. No, no, baby, I would never do that to you. A usual mom of the guy that you're dating wouldn't be like, do you like pleasure him? But she wants me to like give him everything that I can. So then she kind of has a key way to know things that are going on in his life. Nikki, what is it you want from Craig? I thought that scene was so powerful in a lot of ways. And Emmy Rossum was directing it. So that was cool to have like all women working around it. Because at, at least for me growing up, you don't really talk about that like you kind of hold the power when you're having sex. That's the, a, a moment where I think Ellen's character gets to be really honest for a second. And Ellen was playing it very intense. Do you have any idea how powerful you are? You know where that power is? It's pussy power. I don't know if it made it in, but Ellen's saying like pussy power. I think that was cut, we shall see. But it was like, can this work? Is this too much? It was just an intense, definitely an intense scene to film. It's the one thing you have that every man wants. She's actually giving me this like really beautiful piece of advice. That's what's cool about the show is that from just seeing like a poster, you'd be like, oh, it's just this male show. But getting to see that they're led by this really like strong woman who just doesn't take shit is really cool, I think. You just have to let them think they have the power, but they never do, never, unless you give it to them. And don't you dare give it to them. Animal Kingdom, all new Tuesdays at 9 on TNT and the TNT app.